This is how I configure remove from cart event on Shopify using the newer customer pixel event. Enjoy. First thing we have to do is add a customer pixel. To do that, click on the settings on your Shopify store and then scroll all the way down to customer events. This is where the new sandbox events are going to fire. Once you are on this page, click on the add customer pixel and you can rename it whatever you want. I'm going to rename it as data layer and then click on add pixel. Once you have done that, this is the next most important step. Make sure that the permissions are set to not required and data sales is set to data does not qualify as sales data. On the description of this video, you will find a link where you can get the code snippet that I'm going to use here. Once we have copied the code snippet, it will look something like this. And if you will scroll up all the way to the top, the only thing we need to update is the Google Tag Manager container ID. So let's get the Google Tag Manager container ID from here. Let's copy the ID and go back from the Google Tag Manager container to the Shopify backend and paste the ID right here. Let's click on save changes because these are the only changes that we need to make and then hit on connect. Once you will hit on connect, this will automatically add the data layer event on your Shopify store. So let's close this window and go to our Shopify store to make sure if all the data layer events are working fine or not. Once you are on the Shopify store, then go to the catalog or any of the product pages. And since we don't have any items in the cart right now, I'm going to add a few items so that we can remove them later in the video. So let's add this item and let's also add one more item in the cart. Let's also add this item. Great, now we have added some item to the cart. We can now go to the cart and see if the add to cart trigger is firing. To make everything easier, I'm going to inspect the window and go to the console so you can see all the events that are going to fire. Let's remove one of the items from the cart. And great, let me filter this event so we can see the data layer events. And we can see that the remove from cart data layer event is firing and it is also pushing the e-commerce object with the product item. Now we have to do is capture this remove from cart event and push it to Google Analytics for. But before that, we need to create a configuration tag, which is just like a page view event, which is going to fire on all the pages of the website. So first thing we have to do is go to Google Tag Manager container and create a new tag. For the trigger, we are going to select all pages and for the configuration tag, we are going to select a Google tag. The only thing it needs is a measurement ID. Let's copy the measurement ID from our Google Analytics account. Let's copy the ID, go back to the Google Tag Manager container and paste the ID right here. Or what you can do is create a constant variable for this one. So let's create a constant variable because we are going to use this variable multiple times. Let's rename this as GA4 measurement ID and hit save. Once the measurement ID has been created, let's rename this tag to GA4 configuration tag and hit save changes. Now the next thing we have to do is create a remove from cart event. And since remove from cart event is not going to fire on all the pages of the website, we need to create a specific trigger which will only fire on the custom event which is remove from cart. So let's create a custom event trigger and name it remove from cart. And let's rename this trigger as custom event remove from cart and hit save changes. Now we can create a Google Analytics 4 event tag. And the only thing it needs is the measurement ID. Let's select the measurement ID. And for the name of the event, it's going to be the same as remove from cart. If you want to make sure that we are tracking all the additional information, such as currency, name of the item, ID of the item, etc., make sure that the, in the more settings, you have enabled send e-commerce data. Let's rename this to GA4 custom event remove from cart and hit save changes. Unfortunately, we won't be able to verify these changes using the preview window. Therefore, we have to submit the changes. So let's submit the changes by renaming this to Tracking Academy GA4 Remove from Cart and hit Publish. Once the changes have been published, we can verify this by going back to our Shopify store. So let's click on View our online store. And since we already have an item in the cart, we don't have to add any new item. We can just directly go to the cart and hit inspect. There are two ways to verify if all the events are working fine. The first option is using this adverse data layer. What this is going to do is push the data layer event that are going directly to Google Analytics 4 and it will show them in the console. So if you're in the console, you will be able to see events such as this. So this is a page view hit that was being sent to Google Analytics. The second place to verify is going to the network tab and you can see that there were two requests sent. One was for scroll and the second one was for page view. So these are the two options where you can verify if the event is working fine. Or not. Once you will click on remove from cart, this is going to trigger another event which is remove from cart. And you will be able to see that event on your network request right here. You can see that the remove from cart event has fired and it has also sent a product which, is, which has the ID, quantity and all the other things. And it also has sent the value and it has also sent the currency right here. You can also verify the same information using the extension that I just mentioned and it is telling you that the remove from cart event has fired and it also has sent the 
currency as PKR and it has also sent the product with the variation category ID and all the things and along with the value of the event. You can also verify this information on your Google Analytics account and you will be able to see that remove from cart event has fired and you can see that all the value thing uh, currency and all the other details. You won't be able to verify the items array right here but you can verify that on the extension. So this is how you configure remove from cart event. If you want to see how to do add to cart event just click right here.